Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to install WireMod into Gmod 13. Now the procedure is basically the exact same as it was for 12 and I imagine 11 or so on and so forth. Um, anyway, uh, what's prompted this video is, well, one of my viewers asked for it. I said I would think about it, um, making this tutorial. And uh, uh, then I saw that somebody has posted it into the workshop, um, which is actually illegal. Yes, the version that's in the workshop is not a legal copy of uh, WireMod. Although it's a bit more convenient there, it will probably be taken down because it is breaking um, a couple of the uh, licensing agreements. Um, so, to get a legal copy of WireMod for yourself, um, I'm going to be making a few assumptions here that you know how that you're using Windows. I'll be using Windows 7 for this. Um, yep. Uh, that you know how to get around your operating system, that you already have Steam installed and Gmod running, uh, as well as a few other assumptions that are uh, that I probably can't think of at the moment. But anyway, for starters, let's get the program that we'll need for this. Uh, uh, Tortoise, it's called Tortoise SVN here. Tortoise SVN. This is a rather cool, nice little handy program. Uh, you can download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. I've already downloaded the 64-bit version here. Oops. Okay, let's just run this. Oh, we'll need command line tools. Very important. Okay, well, not so important if you're not into the command line, but I personally like command line tools, so install the command line tools. Install. Now we just sit here and stare at our screen for the next minute or so. I might fast forward through this. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> now we don't need that page anymore. Um, let's see. Next, we need to navigate over to our Steam install. Okay, now we need to go over to the Gmod folder, which is under Steam Apps, your username, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod. Okay, and here is basically general area where we want to work in. Go into the add-ons folder here. Now, um, I'm going to need links. These are probably the hardest part of it, finding these links. So once you have these links, which I will put in the description below, once you have these links, it's fairly simple to pretty much do the rest. Uh, but finding these links were a pain in the ass. The ultimate wire mod installation tutorial that I have in the forums, at least when I did it, didn't have the right links. So it didn't work. Okay, so... We go to... no, we need to create a new folder. We'll call this first one Wire. The name actually really doesn't matter. Uh... Okay. One second. There. I just ripped out my disk drive, so it won't bother me anymore. Okay, so we go to SVN Checkout, and it kindly took uh, what we have in um, the uh, clipboard and put it into the uh, box here. This is the address that we want it to link up to and start downloading from. Click OK. Yep, 
and it will freeze. Um, okay, there it goes. And as you can see, it's starting to download WireMod. While well, that's going in the background, I'll go ahead and create a, a new folder called Wire Extras. And we'll just rinse and repeat with this. And now the advanced dupe. Okay, and that is all three components of the wire mod add-on. Now it will take a few minutes to uh, download everything and install it. Oh, it's already finished with this one and this one, so the extra and the duplicator is all done. So we just need to wait on the wire. Uh, I'll go ahead and fast forward till it's done. Okay, and that's everything. Now, uh, Tortoise SVN has this rather neat little feature. If we press F5, it should show us, which it's not. So let's back up and go back into here and... Huh, that's interesting. It's not doing it. <laughs> it changes the icons here to show that they're SVN usually. Anyway, doesn't really matter. It's pretty much all set up, wire mod working right now. If you go into Gmod, I can't in this system. Well, I can, but it will screw up the recording. Um, that that's all that you need. There, um, wire mod is completely installed. Everything should work. You might get a buttload of errors, but that's kind of standard with wire mod. <laughs> um. Next thing that I would like to go over is uh, SVN updates. Now, after a while, you know, they'd probably add or change some code into the uh, mod or to the add on, and uh, uh, you'll inevitably want those changes. All you have to do to uh, um, acquire those changes is to right click on the folder and click SVN update. And the thing will go through, check with the uh, server, make sure that uh, it has the most up-to-date. As you can see, the current revision is 2041. And uh, since there were no changes, it didn't download anything or make any changes. But that's all you have to do to update the uh, mod. But there is another rather cool thing that I personally do that you can do with this. Remember those command line tools that uh, we installed? That allows us to automate that process that we just did. So, in the uh, base folder, Gary, or no, not in the base folder, in the folder just above the add ons folder here in Gary's Ma, I created this file called update.bat. Now, if uh, you have it hiding the uh, last. Uh, um, the extension of the file, you'll probably want to unhide those by going into, or let me start that over again. Okay, to show these uh, ex file extensions, in the while well, you have the window selected, you press Alt, that brings up this menu here. Click Tools, Folder Options, View, and you want to uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. I personally hate that option and think they should never have added it to begin with because that pretty much screws over the entire system. Back in the old days, where you had to deal with the extension, you knew what was going on. Anyway, so update.bat, um, click edit here. We have uh, these two lines, these two lines of code. Actually, this first one isn't really needed. That's just to make it look nicer. So, this line of code, that's it. That's all that's really important in this file. Basically, what this will do 
is uh, uh, this uses a for loop uh, to run through all the results of the dir command here. Um, the dir command is looking in, well, this here sends it over to the add-ons. The print or percentage signs Kugel line dp0 tells it to, uh, to well, is the command, is the directory that the bat file, or that the update.bat file is currently in. So add-ons tells it to go into this folder here. Uh, the uh, slash a colon d tells it to only look at the directories in this folder, or to only list directories in this folder, because we're not interested in that file there. Not sure what that is. Anyway, uh, so it loops through the list of all these folders here, and then it checks inside the folder with this uh, if command here. If dot svn, which is a hidden folder, so if we dot svn on this, we see that this folder does indeed exist, even though we can't see it here. To show it, we can press Alt, go here, folder options, view, show hidden files and drives. And now that will tell show us the SVN folder there. So if there's a .svn folder un, well, underneath or in these uh, directories here, then it will run the, uh, the SVN update on that. And uh, so when you run this bat, it looks something like this. Let's see. Yeah, this is what it looks like when you run the bat. And it's going through all the uh, SVN uh, folders in that file and performing an update on that. I'll have that, uh, uh, I'll put this line of code in the description also, so you can just copy and paste it. Um, now, that, that does simplify the process of updating it. Back in uh, version 12 of Gmod, where we didn't have the workshop, and we had to manually go through and update all the SVN ones. It was a big mess. Had hundreds of files in my add-ons. Nightmare going through it, so that was quite helpful for me. But... Having to go over and click on it is rather annoying. Because, you know, you have to remember to continuously do that, to update everything, and I often forgot. So, next we're going to want to come down here, press the window thing, go to All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, Task Scheduler. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is probably a window that you have not used too much. Don't worry, it looks a bit scary, but it's rather simple. In fact, it's so simple that you can pretty much ignore just about everything that's on the screen right now. All we're interested in is this create basic tasks here. Uh, we'll call this uh, gmod svn update. Okay, now you can choose to have this run daily, weekly, monthly, one time, etc., etc., when the computer starts. I personally prefer weekly. Uh, I like it running on a Friday. Uh, about 6 a.m. I'm usually not on the computer at this time, and I leave my computer running all the time, so that works for me. You can choose whatever works for you. When you click Next, select Start a Program. Then you're going to have to go hunt down the uh, bat file, which is C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your username, Gary's Mod. Um, and there we have it next. 
finish. Perfect. And uh, now this will run in the background. You won't even see a window pop up and every Friday at 6, at 6 a.m. it will automatically go through and update all your SVN add-ons automatically. Which is quite nice. Um, I think that concludes this tutorial. Mm, yeah, so once again, I am KHM and happy G modding.